So you're thinking 2023 is your year. You're thinking you're ready. Wichita, Kansas, perhaps one of the surrounding areas. Anyways, 2023 is your year. Well, I'm going to throw five things at you. You need to know if you're coming here to become a homeowner, to get that life started. So make sure you stay till the end. We're jumping into it right after this. Right before we get into it, like always, if you get any value out of any of this, do me a solid like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I'm kicking these videos out each and every week. Got a question? Reach out. I can't read your mind. Morning, noon, night, weekends. I got your back. Let's keep it real estate related. Plugs aside, we're jumping in. So first and foremost, we are in our own little bubble. So different from the coast. Um, bubble not necessarily being a bad thing, but we're already we're already kind of moving we're already kind of moving into that spring market. What do I mean by this? Well, what we're noticing is the homes that are turnkey ready. They're fixed up. the The homes that are priced right are moving quick. They're moving fast. Uh, there's going to be exceptions to the rules, certain particular price ranges, you know, what have you, whatever, insert reason here. There's always going to be exceptions to the rule. But for the most part, what we're noticing, the market's picking back up. Yes, I mean, there. like I said, there, there will be those homes that you know 30 40 50 plus days on market but what we're seeing is people don't really necessarily want to want the fixer upper we're moving into spring if we're going to make the move we want to make the move count we don't want to be inconvenienced i want the house fixed up and ready to go and for those people that oh well you know we'll Price it up here and we can come down. Well, it's it's not necessarily as hot as it was, you know, not too long ago. It's got to be priced right. The, the whole, hey, we'll just mark it up and come down. You're shooting yourself in the foot. Come on, think about it. We've all been online, whether we're real estate agents or not. And we've seen those houses. I mean, I could tell you, even long before I got my, my license, you know, 30, 60, 120 days, you know, 300 days. What's wrong with this house? What's, what's wrong? Why is this home not sold? There's something wrong with this house. And, you know, there might not be nothing wrong. Just the price. Pricing is super, super important. So, but when we have these two things together, the homes are moving fairly quick. So, number two, speaking of being fairly quick, you want to have your team ready. What do I mean? Your team. We have our A team. We have our B team. No slide on the on the B team, but your A team. You need your real estate agent. You need your lender or your mortgage broker. You need your insurance agent. You need these people here in your pocket. Any one of those can help get the members from your B team. We're talking your inspectors and the home inspectors, past inspectors, surveyors, any anything else that we're going to need, but we don't necessarily need it right this second. Any good agent, whether that's your insurance agent, your real estate agent, they should have 
a few in their back pocket. They should have they should have lenders. They should have insurance agents. They should have inspectors, pest inspectors, surveyors, all that stuff. Contractors, should we need one? Or you're more than you're more than welcome to do that digging yourself. But coming here to a new place, wanting to make this move, wanting to make this change, it might uh, it, it might not be a bad idea to at least hear your agent out. So have your team ready. So speaking of that, I mean, before I, I go on a, a tirade, just these these people, all of them, both uh, both A and B, you know, having that team, your team's only as good as the weakest link. So you want to make sure you're not taking it lightly because <laughs> This can this this doesn't have to be a difficult time, but you know, having not having that right person in play, whether it's you know the agent, the lender, the inspector, could cost you time, could cost you money, and might cost you the house. So this is something we want to keep in mind. We want to just be prepared. Like I said, choose wisely. Be prepared. So, speaking of being prepared, when you're when you're ready, you want to make that move. So, we have our we have our lender, we have all these people in place, and any good real estate agent's going to tell you up front. I being one of them, you need to get pre-approved. You got to have skin in the game. Here that pre-approval letter goes with your offer. So, you know, knock it out. We That's why we don't show homes. You know, this is, this is one of those things, you know, it's one of the number one things I remember getting grief for it when I was a new agent. Well, do I have, yeah, well, we don't want to show you something you fall in love with it and then you lose out you lose out because we weren't prepared that agent didn't didn't do you any favor showing you homes without that letter there's a lot that goes into getting pre-approved and you want to know your numbers you want to show not only, not only the, the the people you're working with, the potential other side you're working with, but yourself. You know your numbers. You know it doesn't hurt to have an idea what you're looking for from there. I mean, even before that, you know, have a rough idea of what you need. Have a rough idea, of kind of what you want to spend. And once you have that pre-approval, you know, it can be adjusted from there but once that's in you're good to go and any any good any good lender is going to be okay with you shopping them with with the, the guys i i use they're mortgage brokers so they find the lenders for you they make these people compete to help you save money so just a little something to keep in mind not everything's going to be the same, like the, the terminology, I guess. Um, you know, the, you have big box companies out there paying for, or, you know, commercials and what have you. You know, it's catchy, it's cool, it's funny, but you're paying for this stuff. And this is stuff that, you know, you just need to keep in mind. Any good agent's going to look out for you. They want to help you get where you need to be. And that includes helping you save money when you can. You don't want to sacrifice the service in the process. But, but uh, yeah, so anyway, sorry. Being, just being prepared. When you found the one and you're ready to make that move, make the move, make it count. Don't nickel and dime them. Don't try to get a quote-unquote deal. 
because the way it's been, they're just gonna they're just gonna if they have options, they're just gonna go to the next option. They don't want to work with someone who's difficult if they have options. You know, this just being realistic. This isn't this isn't one of the HD TV shows. We got to get in there. This is what you need for you and yours. You need to get you where you need to be, but it takes a little bit of negotiating, playing ball, what have you. It's got to make sense. Ideally, everybody should feel like they came out ahead. No one should feel like they lost. So a lot of this stuff's really just kind of common sense. I mean, I guess, but you know, for some people out there, you just, it, this might be your first encounter. This might be your first, you know, first time buying a home. So I guess maybe I shouldn't say that, but you know, just, it kind of just falls on some of these golden rules, treat others like you want to be treated and what have you, you know, but um, number four, say, say you're not quite ready yet. Well, that's fine. But like I said, the market's heating up already. We're already kind of getting an early start to spring. A lot of the people that are waiting are also waiting till for spring. We're talking, you know, late March, April, you know, May. And up until the kids get out of school, up until summertime, you know, this is when everybody, all bets are off. Everybody who's looking to make that move this year, spring, historically, is the busiest time for real estate. The weather's pretty. You get out there, you make it happen. So if you're in a position... I mean, even even now, I mean, people getting back tax returns, what have you, they're making the move. So if you can beat, and like I said, it's already kind of, it's already starting to warm up. So if you can beat when, it, when it's red hot, when it's going and everybody's out, because I trust and believe me, I've been out there in, in the crazy market when things are going, when there's a lot of people out there and it can get pretty crazy. So, I mean, any, if this is what you need to do, this is what you want to do. Just, you know, if you got to wait, you got to wait. But if you don't have to wait, I wouldn't necessarily suggest it. It's really up to you. I'm not saying, hey, break a lease or it's the numbers, the situation. It's all got to make sense for you in the end. This is just one thing to keep in mind amongst these five things I'm telling you just a little food for thought. So number five, once you make your offer and your offer gets accepted, things don't slow down from here. You got the offer accepted. Yeah, that's a huge step, but this is where everything else falls into place. This is, you know, we're going 90 to nothing, right? your earnest money deposits we're scheduling inspections you know there's there's time sensitive tasks that have to be completed you know nobody wants to be at fault should a deal not happen you know but there's a lot that goes into it a lot of stuff that um uh, uh, your normal consumer don't don't necessarily realize that we take care of you know, just be kind of, kind of behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, like I said, you know, your earnest money, you're taking care of inspections. You should be getting insurance. You're going through all the hoops of getting uh, a paperwork for the lender. There's a whole, a whole nother monster right there with the lending. Um, every situation is different. I don't want to say a typical deal because Every situation is different. Every every client's situation is different. Every home is different. You know, um, age, is it in town, uh, uh, urban, is it rural, is, you know, 
septic, lagoon, is it on a well, sewer? Um, you know, how old's the house? But you know, like anyways, it, there's still so much to do from there. And any good agent's going to give you the framework of what to expect from there. So um, I'm really thinking, let me know down uh, down in the comments, throw a like or something. What kind of questions do you would you have for a lender? I'm looking at potentially having my lenders come on, maybe answer some questions, kind of go through what um what you would expect to need to get pre-approved, what kind of things you need to look out for, things to keep in mind, stuff like that. Because we want to we want to make sure should you make the move, you make it count. We want to give you the information, we want to give you the tools so it's not so scary when you're out here, when you're making the move. And you know what? Hey, if you're not quite ready, if you're thinking you need to rent for a little while, making the move here, hey, that's fine too. It doesn't hurt to be prepared, to have that idea. Of, okay, this is what to expect. This is what I need to need to do. You know, have that solid game plan in motion. So when you are ready, you can make that move and make it count. You know, but just kind of, just kind of to the point, like I said, that's five things. And like I said, throw a comment down there. You got a question, maybe pertaining to something that we talked to, I talked about tonight. Let me know. I can't read your mind. Call, text, email, send the carrier pigeons, whatever you got to do to get the help you need. I'm here to help and I love it. If you got any value out of this? Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till the next one, guys. We'll see you later.